So this um, film you're about to see is a recorded and edited version of a, an online lecture. It's about a painting by uh, an Australian artist called Tom Roberts. Um, he's not that well known outside of Australia, but in his native um, country, he's incredibly well considered. Um, I, the best way to think about him is he, he he's kind of like Constable or Turner. He's a, a household name. Everybody in Australia is aware of this uh, great artist. It's a, a, a painting, one of um, a, a series that the artist created that are known as the National Narratives, and they tell the stories of that great nation. So have a look and see what you think. So welcome to another one of our online lectures. This one is, once again, uh, a lecture from a series known as The Bigger Picture, where we take one picture, have a closer look, and see if we can discover the stories that the painting will reveal. Now, today's painting is by an Australian artist, Tom Roberts. It's The Shearing of the Rams, painted in 1880 to 1890. The medium is oil on canvas. It's 122 by 183 centimetres, and it's currently in the collection of the National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne. Now, Roberts is known in Australia for a whole series of paintings that are now known as the national narrative. He created over a dozen works throughout his career that really looked and told the stories of the nation of Australia and how it felt and how he felt to be a citizen of that nation. This is the painting, The Shearing of the Rams. Now, a little bit of background on Roberts. He was actually born in England. He was born in Dorchester. He emigrated to Australia in 1869 as a young boy with his recently widowed mother. She had family in Australia and sailed out to join them. Now in the late 1870s, we know that Roberts was working as a photography assistant in a photographic studios in Melbourne. And he also studied art at the National Gallery Art School in Melbourne. He came back to England in 1881 and did a three year study at the Royal Academy in London. We also know that he toured Europe. He went to France and Spain and Holland and was heavily influenced by the new school of the Impressionists and also by the French realists. People like Courbet and Manet and Millet and you can see these influences in the works of Roberts. So on his return to Australia in 1885, he set about creating the first of these many paintings about the ideas of national identity. And it was in 1888 that he decided to do this one. Now, the date is um, not coincidental. It's the centenary year of the founding of Australia. The first fleet had arrived in 1788, and this wasn't lost on Roberts. And it's part of the narrative in this painting is an idea of celebrating the idea of Australia in its first hundred years. Now, the painting is actually a sheep station in Brocklesby, in New South Wales. It was a property that was owned by the Anderson family. They were distant cousins of Roberts. And over a two year period, he made over 70 sketches in the shearing shed. The painting itself, much of it was completed in situ, in plein air, and there were finishing touches in the studio back in Melbourne.
one of the major traits of Roberts is his composition. Um, he's a very traditional European style painter in the way that his paintings are composed. The idea of formal compositions and the ideas of perspective. Here you can see how he uses that very traditional idea of pyramidal composition, placing the figures and the objects in the painting <coughs> within forms of triangles, very pleasing to the eye and engaging to the viewer. He also uses a very traditional idea of linear perspective. You can see here these perspective lines lead you through and give the illusion of a, a depth to the perspective within the painting. Now, many stories in this painting. If we start with the, the three main figures in the foreground, what Roberts is doing here is using a, a very traditional narrative, this philosophical idea of the three ages of man. We have this young lad whose job it is to collect the, the fleece, represents the kind of exuberance of youth. He has his whole life ahead of him. You can see he has a slight kind of grin on his face. In the center of the canvas, we have middle age, the idea of, of work, the idea of the hardship of life, this central figure, the shearer in this red and white striped shirt. And then to the other side of the canvas, we have old age, the man squat down leaning against the side of the shed. This is the idea of, of, of reflection, of looking back on one's life and the idea that life will come to an end. But these three figures here also represent the idea of a progression through the profession of sheep shearing. As a young lad, your first job would be to clear the floors, pile up the fleeces and keep count and carry them back to the counting table, which we can see in the distance behind the columns of the, of the shed. Then, of course, you would then progress to become a shearer, hence the guy in the middle shearing away. We also then know that if you were lucky enough, you would be kept on in old age. And the, the older guy here would be an overseer, um, a, a, a shed foreman, so to speak. But he's also positioned, the artist has placed him here because he's not only is he looking back doing his job, He's metaphorically looking back through the idea of life, looking back to middle age and even looking back beyond that to the idea of youth. And one of the many things Roberts does in, in most of his paintings is this wonderful idea of detail. These help kind of engage the viewer, but they also bring the stories to life. Here, if we zoom in into the partitioning in the side of the holding pens, you can see these wooden boards would be marked with chalk. The shearers would be paid on a piecework, so they would be paid per fleece. And you can see here that the shearer himself is keeping a tally. We can see the tally marks and the numbers chalked onto the boards of the holding pen. Probably uh, uh, an idea of a working man and the idea of the working man keeping his own tally, ensuring that it kind of equates to the tally that the foreman and the paymaster and their tallies matched. We zoom into the back of the shed. We see this guy drinking from his billy can. As we've seen in the previous images, this is your viewpoint. This is the linear perspective that's so well known in Robert's paintings. But those details continue as we go into the painting and towards the back of the shed. Again, this is another young lad collecting the fleeces, taking them to the counting table. You see him here in a red cap. Then again, on the other side of the canvas, we see this guy sharpening or cleaning his shears. We also have this wonderful idea of the bottle of oil 
used for cleaning and lubricating the blades, catching this wonderful light, giving this this wonderful kind of yellow amber glow to the oil in the bottle hanging on one of the wooden columns. Central to the picture, we have one figure, the only figure in the painting that is engaging directly to us, the viewer, staring out, a slight smile on their face. Now this is the tar boy. The tar boy's job, as you can see here, you have a billy can of molten tar and a stick, a brush stick in the other hand. So their job was to keep an eye on what was happening with the sheet. Um, because the work was done at such a fast pace, again, relating back to the idea of, of piecework, um, the sheep would often struggle and kick and there would be nicks and cuts from the shears. So the tar boy's job was to keep an eye on this and as soon as there was a cut on the flesh of the sheep, the tar would be used to seal this. And this is um, another aspect of the painting. Um, Roberts has kind of um, cleaned the image of the shearing shed up. Most of these men would be shirtless, it would be hot, sweaty, it would be full of sheep shit, the excrement, the smell, the hot, sweaty, dusty outback. <clears throat> so it's a, a, a detail that, that the painter himself is kind of sanitized in a certain way. But this was the tar boy's job. Now you may be looking at this um, detail of the painting and thinking that this, this young lad looks a bit kind of, um, is a little bit feminine. And that's because it is actually, we know that this is a, a, a young girl. This is a young lady called Susan Bourne. She was a nine year old young lady who had modeled for, for Roberts and was part of the family. The possibility here on this narrative is that she was part of the deal, the Anderson family allowing the artist to be in the shed <coughs> um, during the, uh, the shearing season. Perhaps there was the deal struck that uh, a member of the family had this kind of portrait idea within the, the, the complexity of the painting. So it also gives us an extra narrative because there was no females in the shearing shed whatsoever at this point in time. So that allows us to think about this idea of, a, of, of masculinity, of the idea of a men's work, a very segregated idea within the workplace, a very manly work environment. When we go back to this main figure, the hardship of, of life, the, the shearer himself, Roberts has, has drawn him and, and painted him in this kind of struggle of work, the way that his elbow is resting down onto the ram's horns to hold the head still. We also have another little wonderful idea of detail here as well. You look at the, the guy behind him, we can see his straps on, the, on, his, uh, on his trousers just below the knee. Also coming back to this main figure of the shearer, we see this little corn cob pipe sticking in the, uh, the, the hook of his pocket. Again, adding this little detail adding this little realist idea to the narrative. One of the um, interesting things, or one of the many interesting things about this, is that Roberts has shown all of these men at work with very traditional clippers, old fashioned shears. Now by the 1880s, the 1890s, the huge majority of the farmsteads in the sheep farming industry would have been electrified. So they would have been using electric clippers here. But Roberts has emphasized the idea of physical work by stepping back a decade or two and showing us the idea of, of shearing by hand. It also allows us to look at the extra narratives that Roberts has put in, in here about the idea of agriculture and very importantly, the idea of trade and Australia as a, an independent trading nation by the turn of the century. The connection back to Britain, the idea of empire is still there. He allows us to, to investigate the idea, if you like, about that idea of, of, of um, 
transcontinental trade. These shears would have been made in Sheffield back in England <clears throat> and been exported out to Australia. The fleeces in turn would have then been exported back to Britain, back to the mills of Northern England, <clears throat> to the woolen mills. So this idea of trade is another narrative that Roberts brings in to the story. Now, by the time this painting was actually exhibited in 1890, the Sheep Shearers Union were on a national strike. Uh, subsequently, another narrative comes into play. We now consider this painting to be an important um, social political comment. As you can see from the, the union banner here in this slide, eight hours work, eight hours recreation, and eight hours rest were part of the demands that the, uh, the union wanted. They also wanted a, a fair day's wage, and they did eventually win this um, argument with um, the, the landowners. So they instigated an eight hour working day, they also got a day's wage, which meant they moved away from this piecework being paid uh, per fleece. Now, the National Gallery in Victoria used this slide. This is from their uh, educational department, and it's for um, schools use. And it shows how embedded so many different narratives and so many different stories are in this, uh, this wonderful painting and how today um, the teachers can drag out these narratives within their kind of educational classes. So you can see here we have gender issues and self-esteem, masculinity, the idea of nationalism, of war and economics, uh, the perspective that we've mentioned before, the visual arts, the, the composition, the impressionism, also the history, the politics, the unionism, the industrialization of the electrification of the shearing sheds, and also this idea of a folk history, which I think is quite a strong narrative as far as Roberts is concerned. This idea of the working man culture of Australia. So we have the folk, um, the poetry, the folk songs. Click, go the shears was a very popular song about the, uh, the whole kind of agricultural industry as far as sheep farming went. So a very important painting today used in, as I say, an educational environment. Now here we have a, a photograph that dates from 1890, gives us um, an idea of how true to life Robert's painting actually was. Again, you can see the holding pens where the sheep would be brought in They'd be then <clears throat> brought out, shorn, and then out through pot poles back out into the field. You can also see this, this counting desk at the end here in the photograph that's in the foreground, where the fleeces would be stacked up, where the young lads would bring the fleeces, they'd be counted, and pay would have then been allotted to each individual shearer. And of course, this so well known, this painting in Australia. It's become a bit of a national icon and you kind of know that you, you've kind of made it to a certain level of fame when you make it onto a stamp. So here the Australian four dollar stamp as you can see is the, sh the, the shearing of the rams by Tom Roberts. So overall what would initially at first glance appear to be a very typical Victorian style painting. Um, some may even say quite a kind of boring painting of men at work. If you do take that, that time to have a closer, work, closer look at the, the bigger picture, it allows you to see all of these narratives, the idea of masculinity, the idea of nationhood, the idea of celebrating um, a centenary of um, Australian history, the idea of the hardship of life. And all of those things we've seen in that educational slide can be kind of teased out of this wonderful painting by Tom Roberts.
so I hope you enjoyed that look at um, Tom Roberts painting the shearing of the rams. Um, one of many great painters from Australia that aren't that well known outside their own country. Um, so if you're interested, there are many great painters from Australia worth investigating and I'm sure you will gain a great insight and a great pleasure if you explore the art of Australia in more depth. So thank you very much for watching the video today and if you're interested in online lectures and accessing more video content then please click on the links and go to the website and there is more information there where you can find out about our, our online lecture series.